Hi, my name is Gabriel, and I'm working as a barista. And I'm currently learning or knowing about Muslim now. And a part of the learning that I want is I want to know why Prophet Muhammad is married a young girl. The question posed by the sister is that why did yes. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, married a young girl? She's referring to the marriage of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. Sister, for your knowledge, the first wife that Prophet married was 15 years older than him. He was at the age of 25 and Bibi Khatija, may Allah be pleased with her, she was the age of 40. 15 years more than him. And she was widowed twice. All the marriages Prophet did were either divorcees or widow, except for one that Hazrat Aisha may Allah be pleased with her. In Islam, what we have that any girl who reaches the age of maturity, she can marry. In, in medical science, we say that a girl reaches maturity depending upon her food, depending upon the climate. Today, science says, and there's a hadith in Bukhari that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, married Hazrat Aisha may Allah be pleased with her at the age of six and consummated the marriage at the age of nine. Today, in India and America, many it is normal for women to reach adulthood, to reach menstruation at the age of nine and ten. It's common. So in Islam, the moment you reach the age of maturity, you can marry. Today, in India, for a girl to get married, she should be of the age of 18. To get married at the age of 17 is illegal. In America, most of the states it's 16. In Texas, the girl can be at the age of 14. Why it differs? Why in Texas 14? Why in New York it is 16? Why? These are human laws. In Islam, if a girl gets matured, when she reaches maturity, when she reaches puberty, she can get married. So at the time of the Prophet, when he married Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be with her, he consummated the marriage after she reached maturity. What are the benefits? At the young age, MashaAllah, she was so matured. She was, she had a very good memory. That only on her authority, there were 2,210 hadith narrated. Maybe if we had married her, half the hadith wouldn't have been narrated. Allah knows in his divine wisdom, what is good, what is bad. So in this case, if a girl reaches maturity, she can marry. That is the ruling of Islam. I hope that answers the question, sister. Why has the people lowered the voice of the microphone? I am straining. I would request the audio technician, please increase the volume. Jadak, are you giving me a signal to leave the stage? <laughs> Little bit more. Little bit more, brother. Ah, Jadak Allah. Slowly, slowly going down. <laughs> yes, yes, sister. Sister, do you believe there is one God? Ah, uh, yes. Do you believe there is one God? Yes. Do you believe Jesus Christ is the messenger of God? Ah, uh, yes. Messenger or is he God? A messenger. messenger. Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Ah, uh, yes. MashaAllah. Sister, you are a Muslim. The basic requirement for anyone to accept Islam is to believe there is one God and to believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. So, sister, would you like to say it in Arabic? No, right. No, not, no, not really right now. So, what I request you, sister, you study. Study more, read the Quran. That's what I'm doing. Read the Quran, read the translation. But if you are convinced that God is one, mm -hmm. and if you are convinced that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, please do not delay. You don't know how long will you live. Yes, if you're not convinced Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, then take your time. But if you're convinced, and maybe there are some other issues which are troubling you, that can be taken care of afterwards. When you join school, you don't say that I want to be a graduate directly. You join nursery, learn the basics, then go standard one, standard two. Only two things that you have to be convinced is believe there is one God who deserves all worship. And secondly, believe that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger. If you are convinced in these two things, do not delay because you don't know how long will you live. So that is, my, that is the reason that I request you that you do study. But if you are convinced that Jesus is not God and is a messenger of God, peace be upon him. And if you are convinced Muhammad is a messenger of God, please do not delay. Accept as early as possible, otherwise it will be too late. Thank you. Yes, sister.